Hello everyone, before we get into today's video, I'd first like to proudly announce that this guide is sponsored by Million Pugs. Million Pugs has just soft launched and is a cashback program for gamers, allowing you to earn free in-game rewards for Gwent with your everyday online purchases. You can unlock free Gwent content including cakes, meteorite powder and actual skins themselves. They have partnered with over 900 plus brands and shops ranging from Walmart, Adidas to even DoorDash, meaning you can get kegs from ordering things like a nice tasty pizza. I don't know about you, but that sure sounds good to me. All you have to do is simply download the Million Pugs add-on and whenever you shop online, you'll be rewarded with Pugs. Pugs can be utilized to acquire in-game content. So make sure you go and visit Million Pugs to install the browser extension and get started. They also have a neat Discord, which you should consider joining. Links can be found down below in the description of this video. Thank you. Their kingdoms will collapse like sand castles. What? Miss playing a bit. Now I'll do Obsidian Mirror. Are you fucking kidding me? Catnip instead of crowns? Ah. Humes are scum. I prefer L. Yo, check this out now. Wow. That's great. That's how Mirror is meant to be played. What's up you absolute legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. For today I've put together a Nilfgaard list for you. I really hope you're going to enjoy it. We're playing double cross as the leader ability as you can see here. We get to create and play a card from our opponent's hand. Usually you'd commit this card in round 2 or 3. We don't really ever want to use this round 1. The stratagem that we're using is Magic Lamp. This just means we get this token unit that you see here. This one we go first in a match of course. Gives us a few extra points on the board, help, helps to get round control as well. So the overall theme with this deck is that we're playing an assimilate style of strategy. So what we're going to look to do is copy our opponent's units and their whole strategy and basically use it back against them. That's for those of you who are not familiar with this kind of play. Um, some things to note of this deck, it's a devotion deck. And really the only way we're getting value, <clears throat> pardon me, out of devotion in this list is for Burgess. So I'm going to come around and explain why I've built it that way when we come around to this card during the explanation of this list. But bear that in mind. Um, Fergus will help to make Vatir better in this deck, giving us more options and also for Terra Nova. And, you know, of course, Ku plays better with all these spying statuses that we're giving. So I'm going to run you through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card and when to play it during a match. So to begin with, let's start off with the bronze cards in this deck. You can see we've got the Emissary down here. It's got the Disloyal tag, meaning it's going to go to our opponent's side of the board and we just get to boost an ally by seven. Emissary is just in this deck because we are playing Braithens. So when you go first into a round and you don't have something to copy through Duchess Informant, Emissary is nice as a proactive play, so keep that in mind, but you just really want to leave this tucked away in deck. We've got a number of tactics because we're playing Calvate. We want to make sure we get Calvate in our hand round one. So this is one of the tactics we have here. We've got two of these tactics in deck. Spawn one power copies of three enemy bronze units on their opposite row. <coughs> Could work really good against ST decks. Um, even the Dwarfen Berserkers with the armor, they damage themselves down, do random damage. Maybe those are some prevalent kind of bronzes you could use this against. It's going to be a bit conditional in some cases, but um, just use it match by match as you see it plays well. <clears throat> then we've got Tourney Joust, two of these in deck. Offers us some control, move an enemy unit shield, damage it by four. 
Give an allied unit a shield, boosting it by four. Use it as you need to also. Imperial Diplomacy does make sense because we're playing in a similar kind of deck. Create and play a bronze card from your opponent's faction. You could use this to synergize with um, the Duchess Informants when you're copying your opponent's units. Maybe you can make it work better that way. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, this is kind of a card you'd like to play after having your assimilate units down, okay? So you got like Vigor down on the board, Brathens, Turnover, Mage Torturers. Then you might want to start thinking about using Diplomacy. You could use it at round one if you like, um, and the subsequent rounds. It's really up to you. Duchess Informant, it's a disloyal unit like the Emissary. Going to our opponent's side of the board, you get to spawn and play a base copy of a non-disloyal bronze enemy unit. So the idea with Duchess Informant is that this is the way that we're going to look to use our opponent's strategy against them. You start copying your opponent's units and using those combinations back, whatever they're doing to you, okay? And we get extra value because on top of that, we've got to simulate units down on the board. So with Duchess Informant, absolutely fine to play them round one and the subsequent rounds. Flexible card in this deck. Um, we do have two Mage Assassins. This is because we're playing the Blightmaker Thinning Package. So the idea is that we're always keeping the Mage Assassins in deck. And you play the Black Makers down round one, play them both down round one, helps us get round control, gives us points. And when you put the Black Maker down, it's going to let you choose a unit in your deck. You're choosing the Mage Assassin, you draw it out to the board, it does two points of random damage. So you can always commit these round one, that is absolutely fine. Mage Torturer, it's an Assimilate unit, it's got the Veil tag, so it can't be given statuses. Um, the Deploy is that you give an enemy unit spying. So this could help to make Terra Nova pretty good, help to set up Terra Nova. Obviously, we want to give a good unit a spying status to replay it later with Terra Nova. You could play these out round one, no issues there at all, and subsequent rounds as well. So then we've got Fergus. Devotion, give three enemy units spying instead. So how I like to play Fergus is when you're looking to commit Terra Nova, uh Vatir and say you have coup to play because this gives three three enemy units spying you could kind of um choose which units you want to do what with so maybe you give a unit with a very high power spying for Vatir to seize um maybe you want to coup a unit so you could give a spying status away there and maybe you want a certain unit for turn over so that's how we can use the three spying statuses that we're giving through this card at that time not bad because it's also at seven power so it's not really too low tempo in its play so having mage torturers and fergus just makes things more flexible for us in this deck overall another assimilate unit vigo deep point create and play a one power copy of a bronze unit from your starting deck vigo can be used round one to help get round control Maybe you missed one of your Blightmaker packages. You could play Vigo to, into a Blightmaker then. Um, you could use Vigo into a Mage Torturer and also Duchess Informant. So nice round one card. Bribery. You guys, this card plays so good for me usually. Um, I'd say like 80% of the time I get really good high rolls with it. Create and play a unit from your opponent's starting deck. So whatever is in their deck, that's what you get a selection of seeing. Obviously, it's going to be three randomly selected cards from the specified source. But um, yeah, Bribery could play so good. Um, it's going to play better according to how well you know your opponent's deck and how you can use those cards back against them, okay? So try to think of those things when you're playing Bribery. In some cases, the opponent might have an Egan in their graveyard. And let's say you get Osril through Bribery. You know, that's a, obviously a very good selection to go for and select and play that out. So with Bribery, I'd suggest you play this round two or three. We've got Defender here. Defender is really in my deck just for Vatir. That's the only reason I have it in here. And really, there's two ways we could play Defender. If you want... You can play it early. You can give your assimilate units protection. 
Um, you know, obviously stacking those assimilate units behind defender and then playing Vatir very late. Or if you want, you could just play defender super late just for the sake of protecting Vatir. So those are two, the two ways you can operate it. Um, so obviously you're just saving defender for when you're looking to commit this card here. Otherwise, round two or three. Yennefer gives us some tall punish options and it works good with assimilate because a unit that you take from your opponent and then if you decide to play it, it triggers assimilate too. So it makes a lot of sense because you get to place an enemy unit at the top of your deck. The, you really only use this at the end of a match to take away something with a tall power or during the course of a match, maybe to take away something that your opponent may replay later on that can give them value. So if you look at it this way, we basically have two tall punish options. You've got Yennefer and you've got Vatir as well. Calvate is in our deck to give it consistency. What we mean by that is that Calvate's going to get all our gold cards on the top of our deck for us into round two and three if this is played round one, which is how we're looking to play it. So play Calvate as early on as possible in a match. Round one, first thing, absolutely fine. And we just get the best cards as the match progresses. Q is great in this deck. With Q, you can use it onto units that you've given spying status to. So if a unit has spying status, you play Q on it, you get to replay it, which can play for a lot of points. Um, obviously, in addition to that, the spying um, units that we're putting in our opponent's side of the board, you can use Q onto that and replay them as well. And like we said, obviously you've got Mage Torturer and Fergus to synergize with Q. You could use this round one, one of the charges if you want, because the Echo card. Got Vatir in here. The order is that you can lock an enemy unit, but I'm looking to play it for the Conspiracy. We get to seize a unit. So this could play for a huge point swing. What I like to do is, say if your opponent has a massive engine, um, you could just let it build up value over the course of a round and then at the end of the match you could just seize it so all of their hard-earned points you basically take it it can play for a huge point swing in some instances so it's kind of a tall punish um, control option for us and you play this perhaps very late at the end of a match Brathens assimilate card create and play a bronze disloyal unit from your starting deck so it's going to be Emissary or Duchess Informant. Usually going for Duchess Informant is the best play and will give you the most points. If you could save this for round two and three, it's probably best. Then we got Terran over here. Big powerhouse of the Assimilate style of play. Deploy, spawn and play a base copy of any non disloyal unit you gave Spine to during this game, excluding self. So Terran over is something a card that you'd want to play you're either going to use it to push round two on the bleed or you could just save for like a short round three um and it can give you a lot of points depending on what you've given spying status to so the time you commit to renewable will probably depend on what you've you're attempting to replay and what you've copied but yeah turnover can play for a massive point swing triggering a lot of assimilate for your other assimilate units down the board and getting you something really nice so now that I've explained the list, let me go through how to execute the strategy most effectively. So round one, this is the kind of line of play I'd suggest you take. You can open up with Calvate as a first play. From there, play both Blightmakers out. If your opponent plays something good round one that you'd consider for Terra Nova to replay, you can commit a Mage Torture. Um, you have diplomacy to consider your tactics um let's say coup and at most vigo that should be enough to get round control and what you're going to do from there is depending on your opponent's kind of deck that's going to determine whether you want to push for the 2-0 maybe bleed or you just go for a long round three if it's a non-control heavy deck so they don't have a lot of damage they can't destroy your units they're just more of a solitaire kind of deck. I suggest you just go for a long round three and you can use their whole strategy back against them. If it's a control heavy list, you probably want to push and bleed some good things out of them, if not 2-0. So in that case, obviously the cards you commit onwards from there 
would be, you know, you've got Brathens, you've got um, Defender to give protection to your Assimilate units, um, playing Defender late just for Vatir if you want to do it like that, Fergus, um, Bribery, Leader, all those kinds of subsequent plays will basically come out then. So I hope you're going to have fun playing this list and thanks very much for your support as always. It's a harmony deck. A very harmonious today. We're united harmoniously on this day. We're here to support one another in our harmony. <laughs> I shall not repeat Emir's mistakes. Okay. Obsidian Mirror, I think, plays good in these um, kind of matches where they do the movement stuff. You are not regret this, good sir. Here we go. I bring death quite literally. We could just coo it straight up. Play it melee row, and it can do damage. You see, you must hold it in the I hate nothing more than a creaky door. I must learn to think. Should have played it there. Miss playing a bit. Now I'll do Obsidian Mirror. Are you fucking kidding me? Catnip instead of crowns? Ah. Humes are scum. I prefer elves. Yo, check this out now. Wow. That's great. That's how Mirror is meant to be played. That was really good. What? Are you joking? Oh yeah? Well guess what? I'm gonna do triple dryad. And you're gonna hate me for it. Have you ever seen this? Here we go. <laughs> Oh, uh, you got a pop? You're not passing? Hold on. This is where the points get interesting. Right, you've played at Melly Row. You're a very intelligent player, my friend. You're incredibly smart. You've done very well for yourself this match. No good wine will come from here, not even compost. So basically we're not getting any points. Well, it's a bit of a gap. It is a bit of a gap there. Passing on even. Yeah, it's reduced because of the damage, yeah. It's gonna be a pass on even for sure. That was some great value out of mirror though. Leader's coming up. I don't know. I don't know. Can you do it? Are you sure? Are you sure you can do it? I'll let her as well. The elves have our paths. Don't worry about me. Are you sure? Oh! Oh! Yes! That's right! Exactly! 
Hmm, I knew we had it. Yep, definitely. Thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Graythans. Wow, no Calvate yet? This is the first. Hey, we got him. Thank you, Mr. Ben. Are you a fan of Mr. Bean? By any chance, with a name like that. It's a pretty cool actor. Taunt opponent. Which taunt would you like? Snilfgaard Spires. Uh, probably stacking range throw. I forgive you. This time. This time you're forgiven. KJ recently made a ball poison with a new info card. Wow, sounds interesting. Ball. Poison with Yennefer Illusionist. Stefan as well. Cool. What are you going for? Like double bribery or something? Uh oh. And if I insert a needle here, what then? We're inserting a needle directly into the enforcer. We're injecting them with a spying status. So maybe they have Emir in their deck. Nice. Oh, come on. Just one look. Um, Cadaverine? Imposter ability? Sick, man. Well done, good on you. Happy for you. Sounds cool. Imperial Formation Spies. I'll defend the Duquesa to my dying breath. We could just take it with Yen. Re-enable. We- you know what? We could give it spying status. They're gonna get round control anyway, but that could be really good for Terra Nova. They will definitely play on. They're just going double their leader. Do I enjoy torture? Perhaps. A bit. And we'll just pass. Great turn over target. I think it's worth it. We're getting Damien out here. That's huge. We're happy to see it out. There's a lot of tempo to deal with. Alright, just pass. We get a fantastic Terra Nova target. That is huge for us. Couldn't ask for a better target than that. Double leader.
You bet. Plays on. Behold Nilfgaard's iron might. Fender. Could also do Defender. Could play Vatir and then take Defender. Discipline, that is what you proclaim. Proceed according to plan. We'll just play Fergus. So I have two defenders. No! No one is mad. I'll You're joking, man. What is truth if not an illusion? That was a mad counter, hey. Let's make him pay. Should I go Yennefer? I feel an edict coming on. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good for them, Fox, eh? Wow. Clean kill. I thought we were gonna be safe. But that deck is pretty prevalent in this kind of a list for sure. We could coup defender. You will not regret this, good sir. This Could take Defender again, and it could give protection to um, Damien next round. Like, we could just go Yennefer onto that, so we know Damien's safe. These are you, 
least I sign a treaty. Not that good. Surrender? Sure. So they're looking to pass now. And we just play bribery on the pass. Still goes? Amnesty. Oh. Your name, young man, demands you be cursed into an urge. Just a peek. That is all I need. Just get that card advantage. Barbary next. Right. All right. It's good. Yep. 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 It's good. Got defender for protection. I think this will be nice. Okay. Well, oh, one two. One. Mage. Ugh. This could be really bad. Okay, happens, happens. Yep, that's fine. Happens, man. Onward, onward! To be powered with Imperial Gold on the wind. Oh, this can fix it. <laughs> yes! Using all the intense terminology. We're gonna make this an extremely educated stream in chat. One of a kind. Yes, I have. I have done it. You can check my playlists and you'll be able to find it. Um, I did a shield wall all neutrals before. Rank 30 opponent. Yeah, no, it's feel free to. I think it's in the Northern Realms playlist. What? Thanks for the offer, but I prefer to create my own company. My goodness, it's Iteran. It is. It's an alive Iteran that we're so gonna copy. Yeah, imagine if I had Q here. Try making one, it's really bad. Oh no. This is when we start to get concerned. Sup Ranger, how you doing buddy? Long time. Hang out. Now, must I reach so this the spamming Yenna for illusionist, is it? The senses can be fooled. Should we just keep pushing hard then? I need not spill blood to make you suffer like never before. I've never versed this before. 
<laughs> yeah, no doubt, chill. <laughs> we get some pretty funny ones. Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. So they're gonna have a ton of Yennefers. How the hell do we counter that? Their kingdoms will collapse like sand. What? <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Well, we're pulling that anyway. Calvate. We had a few funny matches here. Oh. Sunshine, what's up? How you been? That stinks. Some things can't ever be forgiven. Right. I shall not repeat Emir's mistakes. Welcome Sarush to the chat everyone. He's an absolute legend. He's a fantastic human being. Another one of the many of you. Your vigilante is about. It's not good news. I bring death. Quite literally. Yeah, it's good to see diversity for sure. It is. I like it. That's what you want, isn't it? Thank you, Chill, for another gifted sub. Really appreciate it. Internet crash had to restart the stream. No problem. Thank you for returning. Oh, wait for the best buyers. Should we go an informant? Maybe this. Coin count? I don't have coins. Poison? Not really sure. How much profit we're getting here? Two? We could kill it. Kill the three. Could also go obsidian mirror. Delivering bleeding. They're imitating vampires at this moment. I 
Seven coins. We can keep getting profit by copying the executioner. It's gonna be a bleeding fiesta. It's gonna be a lot of bleeding going on. People are gonna go to hospital. is placed my duty to stick my nose where it doesn't belong Got a lot of coins. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Candle. The spending. Going up. Yeah, going up, my friends. A shame I have no time. It's an incredible amount of bleeding being displayed here. We're just missing Regis Reborn at this time to come in clutch. Maybe an Unseen Elder to profit on the bleeding would be fantastic. Perhaps a Proto Fletter. One must think outside the blocks. The box when playing Assimilate. Don't underestimate yourself. Decree. We're getting good things out. We're seeing a shady individual. He's doing something sus. He plays hysteria. Yes, spend, spend. Well done. That's what we wanted to see. We want to see you waste coins. They're gonna be a control heavy deck, yeah? Blood money. Should be. Now the problem is, we need a dry pass card. This is where things get unusual. So it's gonna be Fergus, right?
Shall they bleed? They have candle down. We have not given spike to anything. Scoundrel. No good wine will come from here. Not even compost. Thank you for the thinning. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Wow. It went leader onto it? He wants the two over sure. If I if I could put spying on it with Fergus, I think it's great. Get a 12 point unit for Terra Nova. For brute value. We could seize it with Vatir if we give it spying. That's if Defender lasts though. Really? Probably give it spying status, say. I feel an edict coming on. All right, and they lose their pouch, like it goes down by half. What do you think, my friends? Puts us in a better spot, if anything. <laughs> I think Vatir is super exposed. We'll play him as late as possible. Second last. Mage Torturer can give Q a good target. We just keep it. That could be pretty good. Maybe I just open up with Scoundrel then. Gaining vitality? Suffering a noble's friend, you'll be a count once I'm done with you. We could coo it. Graydon. Knowledge is a weapon of great power. That was big. That was huge, man.
What is truth if not an illusion? I need not spill blood to make you suffer like never before. Destroy an enemy unit with a bounty. Cut. To the fires with them! To the fire! Oh, that's good. It's a veiled unit. So I just go for that. And then we go leader. Or should I keep boosting these so these are the tallest and they can't give bounty? Your name, young man, the man should be cursed into an urge. Please wait, Your Excellency. Falling behind. Get them drunk and burn them, for goodness! That tear could save us, you think? They can give it um bounty though now. So second last for tier. Very last yen on the 16. So really I think we're gonna do like um probably bribery now. Maybe bribery gets us something real good. We've got a lot of assimilate units down too. They don't have much coins. Not really. Not really much. Really get anything good? Gain vitality. Freak show could just kill it off. Oh, wait for the best pyres. So, I, I coup the eight. Oh my freaking. <laughs> Yo. Okay. That was wild. Yeah, we didn't get that much of a good um, roll. Yeah, I'd do that too. I believe it's the best thing. That tier next. And then Yennefer on the brute. That's it. It's a big Yennefer target. We will cleanse Novigrad with fire. <sighs> They're just gonna kill Vatir. They're just gonna kill it. <sighs> it's not gonna live. Yeah. So. This just dies no matter what. All is in place. Even 
Either way, it's um, dead. Even if I waited, it's got an order ability. Rip. They can't. Do they get? No, they don't get the kill. They only got two coins. It's a draw, isn't it? What's their last card? Wow! <laughs> oh! Oh, damn! 